All right, how y'all doing today? Kung Fu Maintenance here. I uh, wanted to show you how to make your first stencil work game or second stencil work game if you're going to make a game. Um, I'm going to show you kind of an easy way if you're not wanting to get in a programming language. You can click here to create a new game, you know, when you're in your welcome center. And um, I've already downloaded, you know, some of these templates for these games, like uh, this one here is a space shooter game. You've got a top down shooter blank game. Um, I'm just going to show you like a quick easy way that if you don't really know any programming okay I'm going to click the space shooter game and then give it a name so I'm going to call this uh, the little blue wing shooter okay just to make it easy you can go back and change the game the name later if you want to you can also change the screen size I'm going to leave it at the default one what it is and you can also put a description I'm not going to worry about that right now I just want to get into more of showing you how to uh, change things in the game again without really knowing any programming what you can do is come up here in the corner there's a drop down menu that shows you different attributes uh, in your game. You got backgrounds, you got actors, got fonts. What I'm going to go in is go into the actor and show you how uh, we can change. Right here you can see the player ship, item drop, you've got a list of enemies here. Uh, I can go back up to the main menu. I'm going to go into the player ship. Some people might have other ways of doing this. I'm just going to show you the easy way that I'm doing it. In order to not have to recreate the behaviors for the actor and designate the actor with the camera follow and all that complicated stuff, what you can do is click on one of the pictures and then go into edit frame. Okay, uh, let's go edit frame. Okay, and then edit image. This way, whatever image we put in there, okay, it's given us the correct size already of the image, and as long as we fit the image that we replace this with. You can recolor this. You can use your pale and just change the colors and make your ship a little bit different. Or what you can do is go in and open another. Okay, I'm going to go into File, Open. I'm going to show you how to use a JPEG for this. So what I'm going to do is go into my pictures here and then pull down a JPEG. Okay. And the trick with using a JPEG, because this image size is so small, it's like a 32 megabyte, I'm sorry, 32, uh, uh, what do you call it, bit. Anyway, make a long story short, it's really small. I'm going to go into pictures. Because it's so small, if you can find a picture that you took that was far from a far distance away, it'll work out a lot better because you have to make the, the image size really small and shrink it down. So, <coughs> and open that. And then what we're going to do is hit our selection tool so that it shows the black dots on the corners here and then copy that. And if it doesn't show copy, hit your selection tool again and click inside the box and then that should allow you to copy it here. So I copied it and then we're going to close it and I don't need to save it or anything so we can close this, don't save. Okay and then we're going to edit and we're going to paste this. Then what we're going to have to do is drag this up and drag in the handle corners to shrink the, the image down. So it's slightly tricky, but you know, just keep dragging it up to the left until you can see the bottom. Once you see the bottom, drag it over to one side or the other until you can see one of the, the handles. corners here. There you go. See the handle there? That black deal there. So now what we can do is grab the handle and continue to shrink it down. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this to paste it in place. If someone knows that trick, I'd appreciate it if they leave it in the comments below. <clears throat> I read it somewhere and I can't remember what it is. I should probably research that a little bit, but anyway. It would be a lot easier if you could just paste it in place in the right size, but anyway. This is a way that you can do it. It just takes a little time, a little patience.
and once you get it done you can save it so that's what we want to do and then then you won't have to keep reinventing the wheel here so this does take a bit of time to shrink this down The other way is if you can draw, you can just paint right over the top of this this uh, ship here. Okay, so now I got it down so the top and the bottom are visible. You can see the three handles here, so we can scoot it over to the side. Bring it in a little bit more here. So that all three handles show up. Anyway, there's all three handles. Now we can shrink it to the side and get our little Tarantula Hawk Wasp guy to show up here. Yes, I found this thing one day. It was a pretty neat insect, so I figured I'd get a picture of it. And uh, so I thought, well, it's a pretty neat little creature. So I started making videos with it and uh, doing other stuff. So there it is. You can see it there. Anyway, it's a Tarantula Hawk Wasp. I don't know if you heard of these before, but pretty cool. They can take down tarantulas like four times their size and <clears throat> what they do is they sting it in the in the belly and it paralyzes the tarantula and then they dig a hole drag the tarantula into the pit and uh, then um, they lay their babies on the tarantula and, and the, the babies have like fresh meat accidentally turned it a little bit. I guess we'll figure that part out. Anyway, um, let's see. There's turning it again, but so I'm trying to turn it kind of the right way. But it's a little tricky. Tricky, tricky. That's much better. Okay, so we can straighten it out. Okay, and should probably make it a little bit bigger if that's possible. We want it to match the size of our ship as much as possible. That's gonna do it. That's gonna work it. And it just takes a little fiddling with to get it right how you want it. Okay, and once you get that, <clears throat> this is probably a good point to save your image. So, file, save as, and then get, give it a name and then save it where you want to save it. So, I'm just going to go ahead and, and save it in the same file that I have the bluing just so I can find it. So, stencil works. Bluing. I might call it shooter because I'm making a top-down shooter game on this particular game, and this actually works for other deals also. But, but anyway, so once you get it in there, go ahead and click on the eraser tool which is over here on the left side. It just looks like a little white eraser. So I'm going to click on that, and at the top of the screen, you can adjust the the radius size so the default one here is like kind of smaller which actually works out pretty good but if you had a lot to erase you might make the the thing a lot bigger like that I'm gonna undo that okay <clears throat> now you have to be kind of careful because you actually you only get one undo uh, doing it that way I think there is some keyboard shortcuts for undo that might allow you a little bit more uh, undos but anyway I'm gonna make the radius a little bit bigger so I can erase a little more area here. And then there's our ship down there. So I don't want to erase too much area. But maybe we can fill that in with something else. I don't know. Or maybe we'll just use it somehow. Anyway, let, let me go ahead and save this file. And then I'm going to save again as Blue Wing Shooter. I'm just going to call it number two. Save. Okay. 
Then what you want to do is click in the screen and copy this. Go edit, copy. And if the copy isn't highlighted, then you're going to need to click in the box again. First click here, and then click in the box again, and then you should be able to copy. So I edit, copied, and then we're going to minimize this screen so that our stencil works deal shows up. We're going to go OK. And then we're going to go click here to add a frame, and we're going to paste from clipboard. That paste in the little blue wing that we just did. We can add it in now. And now you can see on the left side here how the it's showing our animation uh, in with the other animation. So what we can do is bring back up our screen here for the pencil that we were working on. Okay, And we can continue to edit our little blue wing guy here. So an easy way to like make it look like it's flying is to erase the wings. So that's what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to kind of erase the wings a little bit. Okay, like so. And I'm going to erase a little more here. Okay. And maybe like a tiny bit of the leg or something. Okay. And then we're going to once again hit our selection tool up at the top corner. And then click inside the box and then edit and copy. And then go back and minimize this. Go back here to add another frame. And we're going to paste from clipboard. And we're going to add. Now you can see the picture again is rotating through the animation and it's a little bit different. Um, I kind of like to mimic the same thing. I mean if they had four pictures for the animation it just makes it easier I think to make four pictures for the animation. You know, uh, Kind of keep it consistent. Anyway, so I'm going to go back in the pencil, bring pencil back up and then um, I'm going to edit, I'm going to undo the drawing part that we just did um, let's see, I actually want to go back, I'm going to close this and don't save, and then I'm going to open our, the one that we just made, the little booing shooter first, so that it has all the stuff on it, um, and actually there's another easy way to do this. I guess I'm going to take off a piece of the wings and, and do it this way. So I'm going to use the eraser tool and make the radius a little bit bigger and then go ahead and erase around a bit. And on this one I'm just going to take off a little pieces of the wings, a little, little tiny bit. Okay, and then, and then I'm going to select it and then copy it, edit copy, and then minimize it and then I'm going to paste it in. Paste from Okay, and then hit add. Okay, and we just need one more picture. Uh, I want to go back to pencil, bring it up again, and then this time I'll erase a little bit of the feet. So just have a little bit of a, a little variation in the picture here. So I erase a little bit of the feet, tiny bit of the body, and then I'm going to go ahead and select it again and copy, and then paste it in. So we're going to minimize this paste it back in as the final frame, paste, add, okay. Then what I'm going to do is go in and we're going to delete, we're going to remove the other frames from the, the old picture. And by doing it this way, maybe this isn't the way other people would recommend to make a game, but I don't have to reprogram the attributes for the character. If you look up here now, you can see my animation sort of flying, okay. Now we can go ahead and save the game up top here. So this is my new little blue wing shooter game. Save the game and now we can test the game. So I'm going to hit test game. It's going to load and let's see what happens, how it looks. You know, and then eventually we can go in and edit the left animation and the right animation. And obviously, you know, this could be cleaned up a lot. Of, a lot. I'm just giving you the basic idea. Okay, here's our little character flying around. And you can see when I push left or I push right, the uh, other animations kick in. Ooh. Let's see. And, and the space bar is the weapon. So anyway, yeah, that's um, how to make your first video game. Now I gotta say, 
uh, come into this stuff new. It is pretty complicated, kind of tricky, difficult. Uh, if you keep it as simple as you can, like what I just showed you, just replacing the image, keep it as simple as you can, you have a lot better time with it, a lot easier time with it, and you won't get so frustrated and give up. You know, little by little, start to gain more. Maybe watch some YouTube videos on it. There's um, Sunrise Kingdom uh, has some really good videos on um, tutorials for stencil works um, that are pretty helpful when you get stuck. So um, I've also got a, my video game blog going called VG Blog, where I'm starting to blog out stuff like this and make videos and blogs about how to make um, stencil works games. Um, and other video games using different programs, but anyway, I'm just kind of starting with Stencil Works. So anyway, obviously, I have a little bit of work here to continue to uh, animate and make this a lot cleaner and more interesting. But it's it's fun. It's pretty neat what you can do. So anyway, hope you like it. Uh, thumb it up, subscribe, uh, favorite it. Uh, I appreciate it. It helps me out a lot, so I can know that you guys want me to make more videos. Um, and uh, so little by little, I'll try to make more stuff, make more videos and show you a bit more. Um, now you can also just copy these in uh, to your, I'm going to close this out, show you, you can copy it into your right animation and left animation, like use the same pictures if you wanted to, uh, just to get around it. Uh, but anyway, that's that's uh, another installment in uh, the stencil works tutorial. So anyway, that's how to the easy way to do an animation. And I'll have to make some more videos about backgrounds and how to change the backgrounds and, and all that. It's coming in the future. So look out for those. They're coming your way pretty soon and uh, we'll see what happens.